Welcome back everybody. In this lesson, we are going to look at before and after hooks. So what are hooks? Hook is any code that you would write and expect the framework to call that code at some point in time, right? Or at a specified point in time. In our case, uh, the code could be any JavaScript function and uh, you would expect the Karate framework to call that code at specific point in time. What those points are, it could be before calling a feature file or after running a feature file, before running a scenario or after running a scenario, right? In fact, you have already been uh, working with uh, some of these hooks, right? So if you look at this table, uh, these are some of the hooks that are available, uh, out of which uh, there is this hook that we have been using extensively uh, before every scenario and as you know by now uh, something that you want to run before running every scenario you would want to put that inside uh, the background we have uh, so uh, we have seen uh, plenty of these codes right where we define stuff in in <coughs> in the background and this gets run every time uh, just before any scenario in that feature file runs <coughs> we have also uh used call once uh, a keyword uh, defined in background what it uh, allows you to do is run this uh, function in this case or in this case the feature file only once uh, for this feature file and that is what it says here once every feature file because you've used uh, the keyword call once in this lesson we are going to look at uh, two other scenarios uh, of hooks uh, which is after every scenario and at the end of the feature right uh, so what we would do is we could use the same feature file that we were uh, that we have seen in the last chapter let me just copy paste just copy paste this and rename this to the hooks right oh, all this as hooks feature start feature and let's just see the example that they have provided right let me just use uh the example that they've given uh let me copy both of these things so the only thing that you need to do here is uh you configure uh these variables uh after scenario and after feature uh, i'm not going to call any feature file i'm just going to show i'm just going to log certain things to demonstrate that uh, this indeed gets called uh, uh, obviously you might want to uh, write some useful code depending on your scenario you might want to initialize stuff or uh, you might want to tear down something after a scenario runs and things like that i'm just going to log stuff uh, for now uh, let me just reuse a similar kind of uh, function for after feature as well uh, just delete this comment so i have an after scenario log file which locks the scenario name and then i have after feature let me update the log and instead of scenario let me call this as feature right so uh this is kind of like a meta thing uh, that inside a scenario and feature file you can print the name of that feature or that scenario itself so what we expect uh, when we run this uh, so because there are two scenarios here we expect this to run every time scenario completes so after running this this scenario and before running the next scenario i expect uh, it to print this line after scenario and scenario name this is the scenario name and this is the other scenario name and finally once the feature is complete uh, i expect uh, after feature feature name uh, to be printed right so I have the right feature name. Let's just run it. There you go. Both tests have passed and let me start from the first test. Uh, so we have 200 OK and it prints the first line here after scenario verify post uh, uh, post works and as expected. And then it runs the next scenario 
and it prints after scenario verify uh, post with retry until works and finally uh, because there were only two scenarios and the, in, in that feature file it prints the after feature uh, hook or, or the code in that hook which is just the log file uh, in our case right so in reality instead of uh, just printing uh, basic log files uh, you might want to use uh, some initializer or some sort of tear down uh, functions and get ready to run the next feature file or the next scenario and stuff like that right i hope you find this useful i'll see you in the next lesson thank you